What's up guys, it's me Sir Ernest and today we're going to solve problem 8.11a of Faust and Cassidy 7th edition. The problem reads, a circular loop of radius a swings as a physical pendulum about a point on its circumference. Find the period of oscillation for small amplitude if the axis of rotation is normal to the plane of the loop. So here, for example, if this is our loop and it is swinging this way, so this is the loop during any given time while it's swinging, this is the center of the loop. We know that the period of oscillation is 2 pi square root of i over m g a, where i is the moment of inertia of your object, m is the mass of your object, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and A is the location of the center of mass. Therefore, we need to find the moment of inertia of this object rotated about the z-axis. So we know that the moment of inertia of a circular loop about an axis passing through its center and normal to its plane is equal to m a squared. And by parallel axis theorem, the moment of inertia is equal to m a squared, where m is the mass, a is the distance between the axis of rotation to the center of mass plus the moment of inertia of the object about the center of mass parallel to our axis. So let's call this ICM and this is equal to this. So therefore, this is now equal to 2MA squared. Thus, the period of oscillation is equal to 2 pi times the square root of 2 ma squared divided by mga. Or, simplifying this, this is equal to 2 pi square root of 2 times g over g. So that's it. This is the period of oscillation of this object rotated about an axis that is normal to the plane of the loop and passing through its circumference. In the next video, we're going to make the axis of rotation parallel to the plane of the loop. But for now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!